Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua and today I'm going to show you how to install Python 3.8.3 version. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you have not already watched my previous video, which was about editing a saved 3D model in Paint 3D, I have put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please contact me via email at fulltechcenter at gmail.com. First of all, let's open our web browser. I'm using Google Chrome. You can use any browser that you like. I'm going to open it by double clicking on it. Once you open your browser, click on the search bar and then type Python. It's spelled P Y T H O N and then press enter. Here you can see the Python website's link. It's at the very top for me. If I click on it, you can see that this website pops up. This is the python.org official website. If you click on the link, this should be the website that pops up on your screen. Now once you're on the website, hover your mouse over the downloads button and then go down to Windows. If you're not using Windows and you're using Mac OS, click on Mac OS. I'm using Windows so I'm going to click on Windows. Once you click on Windows you can see the download links here. Now to find the download link for Python 3.8.3 you have to scroll down. Now the versions are not in order so it may be difficult to find the version that you are looking for. So to find Python 3.8.3, the easiest way is to press the control key and the F key at the same time. When we press those two keys together, you can see that this field pops up in the top right hand side of the screen. Type 3.8.3 and here you can see Python 3.8.3 download link. Now let's close this field. Now we need to select the link that is suitable for our computer. I'm going to install an executable installer. There are two options. There's 32-bit and 64-bit installer. If you have a 32-bit computer, you have to click on the 32-bit installer. If you have a 64-bit computer, you can download the 64-bit executable installer. If you want to check if your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit, click on Start and then on Settings. Once Settings is open, click on System and then at the bottom here you can see About. Click on About. Now here you can see the system type. Here you can see Mines is a 64-bit operating system. If you have a 32-bit operating system, it will say 32-bit operating system. Now you know which operating system you have, 32-bit or 64-bit. Now let's go back to the python.org website. So I'm going to close settings. Now I'm on the python.org website again. Here you can see the download links. I have a 64-bit operating system, so I'm going to click on the 64-bit executable installer. If you have a 32-bit system, click on the 32-bit executable installer. I have a 64-bit operating system, so I'm going to click on 64-bit executable installer. Once you click on the link, you can see that the file is downloading. Once the download is complete, close your browser. Now let's open File Explorer. You can open File Explorer either by clicking on this icon in the taskbar or you can open it by clicking on Start and then typing on File Explorer and then clicking on File Explorer here. I'm going to click it on the taskbar. Once File Explorer is open, go to this PC click on it, double click on your downloads folder to open it. 
Here you can see the Python 3.8.3 .3 install link. Double click on it to open it. Once you double click on it, this window will pop up on your screen. This is the installation window. First of all, we're going to uncheck this box because we do not want to install it for all users. And we need to check this box. We need to add Python 3.8 to path. Make sure this one is checked. After you have done that, click on Customize Installation. In the optional features, make sure everything is checked except for all users. After that, click on Next. In the advanced options, make sure only these three checkboxes are checked. Associate files with Python, create shortcuts for installed applications, and add Python to environment variables. Make sure you don't change the install location. After that, click on install. Here you can see the progress bar. It will take a few seconds. The installation process is about to finish. Here you can see setup was successful. Now before we click close, sometimes when you install Python, there will be the option here to disable path length limit. If you have that option, click on it. I don't have that option. When you click on it, you will be directed to a window which asks you if you would like the administrator to make changes. Click on yes, make sure you click on yes and then after that you'll be brought back to this screen and after that click on close now let's close file explorer now the python installation process is complete and now you can start programming inside python let me show you that to open python 3.8.3 .3, click on start scroll down to python 3.8 folder Here you can see the Python 3.8 folder, click on it, and to start programming, click on idle Python 3.8, click on it. When you click on it, you can see that this window pops up. This is the shell, and to open a new file, click on file, and then click on new file. You can program inside this new file, and you can close the shell. For example, if I maximize the window, let me zoom in so you can see the screen better. Now I have zoomed in so you can see better. I'm going to write some code to display a bit of text. Print, open brackets, open quotation marks, text center, close quotation marks, close brackets. Now before we run a file, we have to save it. Click on File, and then click on Save. By default, it will be saved in this folder, Python 38. I'm going to save it in the default folder. I'm going to call this Testing. And I'm going to click on Save. Now that we've saved the file, we can run it. Click on Run and then click on run module once we clicked on run module you can see that the shell reopened let's maximize the shell here in the top left you can see that text center has been printed this is the text that we typed into the command print text center you can see that it has been displayed on the shell now let's close the shell and let's close Python programming window. In my future videos, I'll post tutorials to program games such as Flappy Bird in Python. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, please smash that like button and share it with your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click that red subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links for all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at fortechcenter at gmail.com. 
I have added it in the description box below. See you in the next video!